Yo, what's the deal? Welcome to episode. What one. is the deal? Shut the. F- mm. Let's keep it cordial. Welcome meat to meat episode- rider. Come on, let's go. Bro, that can get us demonetized. No, it can't. Saying meat rider. <laughs> no, no. Call somebody a meat rider is kind of lame. Only the meme is funny. Yeah, but- saying meat rider. Anyway, what? welcome to Crash Dummies episode one hundred and one. See, that's why I wanted to do it. Why? Is it one hundred and one? Yeah. Yeah. It's one hundred and one. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sheesh. Um, what was I gonna say? Damn. Oh yeah, Patreon. Appreciate everybody. We had a Patreon episode. Patreon episode one just dropped on our seven dollar tier. We had a, a good amount of people uh, subscribe to it. So I appreciate y'all. It's a Tommy G interview there. There's a little bit of us there. Um, but yeah, if you're not subscribed to Patreon, go subscribe to Patreon. Um, you can listen here on YouTube. Might be ads. You might listen on audio. It might be hell ads, but you know where there's no ads on the Patreon. That's right. That's right, audio listeners. <laughs> <laughs> Go pay for something. Baby. Stop trying to get everything in life. But now, please. rate us on everything else. Appreciate y'all support. Um, I don't know what I want to start with. Yeah, you know, single de Mayo. I don't want nobody to take this the wrong way, but the how differently we get treated now kind of bothers me. I don't know why. What do you mean? Like. I don't want no more free shit. <laughs> Stop giving me free shit. I don't want it. What's the price? <laughs> How you gonna give me free shit now that I can afford everything? <laughs> like, nah, give me a price. <laughs> nah, I still want free stuff. <laughs> nah. That shit, nigga, he gave me a free water bottle yesterday. <laughs> Pissed in it and gave it back. <laughs> Keep your shit, nigga. Oh, my gosh. Nah, I just had to tell you. Don't give me no free water bottle, though. Um... You know what's weird that I saw that was weird, right? So anytime there's like a, you know, a lot of men got shamed when, what's her name? Bad Baby, Catch Me Outside. Mm -hmm. When she turned 18 and then a lot of grown men were on her as soon as she turned 18, right? They should have. Huh? I I agree with the getting on them. What do you mean getting on them? Like. I I think that's weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's definitely weird. (laughs) So, but. And they got shamed, rightfully mm-hmm. so, by us, by women. Um, but the same thing is not applying to Lil Tyler. Who's Lil Tyler? He's the rapper. He's like 17. Mm-hmm. Um, and you ain't never heard one of his verses before? <laughs> Hold on. You? Yeah. Play. Look up. Look up just type in. For sure. TikTok and just put L-U-H Tyler. L-U-H Tyler? Yeah. <laughs> I've never heard that. Okay, what about him though? Anyways, he he's a rapper. He's an upcoming rapper. Mm-hmm. Um, he's super popular right now. And he's seventeen, and then like you see all in all these videos, he'd be with, like eighteen, nineteen year old women, women that are like older. Mm-hmm. And it was like if he was a seventeen year old girl, would it be the same thing? Like for instance, Ruby Rose had on a sh- uh, a shirt called "The Girls Love Tyler" or mm-hmm. "Girls Love, Something Like That." Yeah, and obviously, oh, okay, I saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's just like, like. If she was a, if Lil Tyler was a seventeen year old girl and it was a grown man out like in her videos, what would people say? Yeah, how old are the girls in his video? They look old. Like you think over twenty? Ruby Rose is at least over twenty. No, yeah, Ruby Rose is over twenty. And and his women in his comments call him cute, fine as hell. That's like in their twenties. I think it's because the when you're a guy, when some stuff like happens like that to you. You looked at as like you can defend yourself in a sense, yeah. where you can like, you you never gonna really get. You, it's a, a a a chance you won't get really overpowered like physically. Obviously, you can do it mentally. Yeah. So which, I think which that which that's what it is. Yeah. That's why I always find it weird when they be like, I would never tell if my teacher, yeah, if me and my teacher was fucking that dude lame as hell. Like this nigga, it got manipulated. Yeah. <laughs> this nigga's <laughs> mentally fucked up for the rest of his life. Yeah. Like, this nigga's not going to be able to, like, talk to any girls his age. I really did like my uh, Spanish teacher. That's what I'm saying. But until the relationship starts. <laughs> Why should you really play me? Why the fuck we cleaning on a Sunday? <laughs> got you spring cleaning. <laughs> or some shit. But then you got to think about that person mentally, right? Mm-hmm. In your head, you're like, damn. I'm with this teacher. Oh, shit. I'm 16. She 30-something. Like, man, that's crazy. Everybody would be jealous of me. But, like, put yourself in her brain. Like, she's talking to a 16-year-old yeah. sophomore or junior in high school. It's like, 
She's stupid. Like, <laughs> something mentally off of her, for real. <laughs> oh, man. It's a mental disease for somebody to tell you. That's why, like, races, pedophiles. <laughs> race, his race quota. Hey, gotta beat it. <laughs> but I'm saying, if somebody tell you some shit is wrong, and then you still be like, nah. Like, hey, bro, don't be racist. <laughs> Shut up, monkey. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> gosh, bro. Nigga, nigga you stupid. <laughs> Do you think people still uh, use pinky swears as a thing? Yeah. There, there, bro, there's no such thing. I just, Man, I, just, I just remember, like, when we were kids, how much value you put in the pinky swear. Man, you like, broke that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you'd be mad you got a pinky yeah. swear. Like, and I was going to tell everybody. Fuck, <laughs> this shit in. I think, and then it's funny, like, what, some people start adding their little iterations to it. When I started seeing the people do, like, this and they kiss... The the ends of the pinky no. or the ends of the. That's crazy. <laughs> no, it's always you, it's always some horny ass niggas at the club. Tomo, you gonna hit me up? She be like, yeah. You know when girls be spinning, dude. Yeah. Great. If you get a girl number at the end of the club, she's spinning you. <laughs> I just wanna, she could have been gay you or not. Yeah. Hey, but you pinky square so as I heard dude lock it in. Let's kiss our fist. <laughs> you horny ass and they got there. You so freaky ass nigga. <laughs> or when like people say like uh they swore to God or swore on their moms. Yeah, like nigga, I don't know your mama. <laughs> Especially niggas' moms be already dead. Like, come on, bro. <laughs> um, I swore on this person's grave. That's what I'm saying. Let's go to the grave and see, my nigga. <laughs> I swear to God, if you lie, I'm digging your grave. I feel like Mesa, sometimes. sometimes <laughs> That'd be so crazy. I swear to God on my grandma. All right. And then you find out the nigga uh, lying, and then you meet him at his house and just roll his skull across the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Like, guess who that is? <laughs> Remember you swore on your grandma? <laughs> now look what you made me do. <laughs> I brought it back to you. <laughs> but th there's no such thing as promises, bro. If the only time it's like a promise is like y'all, y'all two are day ones. Mm -hmm. Y'all each other's best friends. And y'all both got a lot to lose by telling someone. Yeah. But if you, if the other person doesn't have a lot to lose, they always have one person they're going to tell. Mm -hmm. Even the most secretive person has one person they're going to tell. And they don't think it matters. And sometimes it doesn't, right? If I tell you something, you like, damn, the only person I would tell that is my dad, right? Mm -hmm. And then you tell your dad, and but your dad tell 10 other people, the, the, the connection doesn't work, so it's technically you kept your secret. But everybody has that best friend, just be like, bruh, you go. You told your best friend, like you know she messy as fuck, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know she tell everybody. I seen the shit on her Tumblr. Oh, she got man. the text message conversation. <laughs> she got my shit on there. Oh man, take my shit off. <laughs> oh, I got a question for you. How much money do you? <laughs> how much money do you think the average blind person spends on their electric bill? <laughs> That's crazy. Because I, I was thinking about it. I was like, their electric bill must be kind of low. No. They listen. No, 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 listen. That bitch either really high or really low. <laughs> <laughs> because either they think they turning off the lights and that bitch on all day. <laughs> they get their electric bill, they reading it in Braille like, $500? Hold on. You call somebody over. Hey, Jim, why is my bill $500? Hey, Ronald, I ain't going to lie. All these lights is on. <laughs> you know how the switches yeah. can get messed up? Fuck. <laughs> yeah, you had them on, like, forever. Actually. <laughs> it's fucked up, man. <laughs> I don't know if we get this reversed or not. <laughs> that is true, though. Do blind people walk around the house in the dark then? I don't know. That's a good question. We got to get it. I got to ask a listener to call this blind. I mean, that's if, like. Oh, no. They want to see it. Huh? They can still listen. Uh, no, I was saying we should put on their story looking for a blind person. <laughs> 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 like, oh, see the post. <laughs> Be halfway through the interview, like, hey, bro, appreciate your insight, but <laughs> nigga, how you see the story? <laughs> it was in Braille. <laughs> <laughs> nah. <laughs> They gonna have to put that. We gonna have to put out a radio ad. <laughs> this is one oh seven five. Crash Me's podcast is looking for a blind person. <laughs> oh man! Now that's crazy. <laughs> oh, we can do it. No, we can't do it. That person either. <laughs> what do you hear us? 
<laughs> the question we're asking. I know we need a sign language <laughs> yeah. person right here. Oh man. But can can deaf people no tell deaf people can talk. They not all like real not like really deaf. <laughs> <laughs> This nigga said they deaf, so their mouth don't work. No, <laughs> so I know, I know, I have a deaf friend that that can talk, but he has like the hearing aid. I was just saying purely deaf people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. let's move on, man. <laughs> um, cause the joke I got is fucked up. I ain't gonna lie to you. All right, the Tennessee hotel night manager charged after guests woke up to him sucking on his toes. He's sucking his own toes. No, no, no. Sucking the 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 guest toes. Yeah. So he he the hotel manager and he's sucking the guest toes. <laughs> so look, how do you get in the room? Look, listen, it's a lot of shit that like for like retaliation wise, like you know how like in Texas they got your hold your ground rule or whatever. Stand your ground. Stand your ground and <laughs> you say hold hold the that bitch. Hey, hold the ground. They got to beat your ass. Um, but like shit like this, like it shouldn't be no rules. If the cops get to the scene and this nigga is dead, hey, I understand. He was sucking your toes while you were asleep. <laughs> Did he think he wasn't gonna get caught? <laughs> I'm like, if you, I feel like you're gonna do that anyway. You might feel like the person will wake up. Just do it in general. Just at least ask. Be more of a creep and ask to think you're gonna go in there and suck toes and then get out. I know, but you gotta realize he not into sucking toes that are wanted. That nigga wants some unwanted toes sucking. So is that rape? <laughs> I think it constitutes a sexual assault. No, it's definitely it, it's definitely something. It gotta be something. Yeah, it's definitely. You know they just ain't got no rules. Why people like yet? why people like uh uh toe sucking anyway? You suck toes? No. I don't get it. <laughs> Do you like toe suck Hell toes? No. <laughs> I don't get none of that shit. I just don't understand it. I some people have foot fetish, so. Yeah. But still sucking toes. I, I don't... The thing is, it's just like... I don't know how fetishes start. There's like no study on it. <laughs> so like, I don't know how some of these niggas... Like, did they get held down? And somebody was like, dude. <laughs> Do you think we should toe again? What? Do you think we should toe? Dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, no, some man. audio listeners told me that they saw me crack my knees like this one time. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I was like, how the fuck you see it? <laughs> Your audio listener. <laughs> Watching you niggas. <laughs> all right. So this dude, uh, this is all night. So the clip I'm about to show you, this dude was saying this all night. So basically, I think they were talking about uh, getting people to talk about the, the Negro League Museum. This uh, baseball announcer, I forgot for what team, but this is what he was saying all night. We had a phenomenal day today. Nigger League Museum and Arthur Bryant's Barbecue. We had a oh. phenomenal day today. I thought Nigger was, League Museum I thought, and Arthur Bryant. I thought he was getting dragged for saying Negro. I just didn't, I didn't listen to him Bro, say. Bro, he said Nigger League Museum. What is he pertaining to? Negro League Museum. You know, sometimes I just be thinking like, okay, this is, like, not the first time this happened with a baseball announcer or a hockey announcer. Announcers get fired at least, like, once a year. There's, like, some announcer that's been longstanding. But every time I see him, he's older. Like, he's been announcing for a while. So how do you know that's, like, not their retirement yeah. announcement? <laughs> like, what a way to go out. If you racist, that's top-tier way to go out. Like, I was an announcer, and I knew I was going to retire. I'm not getting no – there's no pension. I can't ruin anything by getting fired like mm -hmm. this. Nigger. League Museum. <laughs> I'm he, did, he then apologized like, right after. So what happened, what I thought it was, because I didn't watch the whole video, I just saw the thing. He was like, announcer just gets uh, saying something at Negro League. So I thought he said Negro. And I was like, oh, I didn't, uh, white people can't say Negro for the, even this, though the Negro League. So then hearing that was my first time actually listening to the video. But I didn't know that, can white people say Negro? <laughs> If they if they not reading them, fuck like if you like saying like the Negro League, they, he was allowed yes, to say Negro League, say right? Negro okay, League. they can say Negro. <laughs> Ain't that crazy? <laughs> it's like that's crazy. I mean, Spanish isn't like Negro. Yeah, Negro puta. <laughs> <laughs> you ever hear some Hispanics call you that? <laughs> it's over, Negro puta. <laughs> Cállate la boca. <laughs> what the 
the fuck is he talking about? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the hell was that? That nigga sound like he about to die. <laughs> <laughs> I was for a second. Um, did you ever get mad when you watch those uh, shows like um, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire and like Deal or No Deal? And like they don't do the thing that you would probably want to do in that situation. Like, oh, you know, and, and Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? They would be like, to move on, you can take the 50000 right now or take a chance for the hundred k And I'd be at the TV when they say like, no, I'll just take the money. I'm like, no, just go, go big or go home. That shit ever like get you worked up? Um, I guess it all depends on what like bracket you in. What show? Like, did, what show was like that show for you? One of those game shows that you always felt like if I was on that show, I would fucking murder this shit. And what's the show that you knew you would be, probably be the worst? It's a tough question. For me, I always thought I'd be terrible at Jeopardy. I don't know how those dudes be knowing that. Yeah, that's <laughs> like. I mean, you can't. You, you're not high, you you can't have sex for two years to be a Jeopardy. Contestant. Yeah, like everybody Jeopardy is such a heart. They've Je- been celibate for two years. <laughs> Jeopardy, Jeopardy is such a hard uh, thing to know. I'm like, how do you even study? You'd be like, well, who is the first author of this random ass novel? Who is Mark Twain? <laughs> that would be my answer for everything. Sports and illustration for 500? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you know, uh, it'll probably, yeah. Jeopardy would definitely be my worst one. My best one would be like prices, right? Yeah. That'd be fire. I hate me. when people, be, it'd be like a, a, a little ass toaster and they'd be like 500. I'm like, bro, you <laughs> should wait. Going, to- I'm going to go 499. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, nigga. Go- no, I hate that. I hate that. That's yeah. such dick riding. Yeah, that's some dick riding. <laughs> like, especially shit. when you go a number, they want to go right with one under you. Like, yeah. bro, like, be, <laughs> trust yourself. <laughs> or I don't like Family Feud. I was just about to say I can be on Family Feud. I could be on Family Feud. I just don't like it. Just depending on like other the crowd. People. No, depending on other people. Because isn't the, the crowd that determines the average? Not uh, The answers. Know. It is the crowd because they give them a the little things to oh, pick from. Oh, is that how they do yeah, it yeah. before the show or something? I think they do it during the show. There's no way. They're answering at the same time. No. What? So the audience hey, says, man. dude. The audience says. No, he said survey says. Oh, uh, survey. Yeah, the audience <laughs> is a survey. Yeah, I think uh, they do it before the show. Yeah, I think so true. too. Uh, There's no way they can do it because they would have to be watching the show. No, no, the people, the live audience usually. That's what I'm saying. They have to do it before the show, like answer the questions before the show. The live audience is there, though. They're in the show. I know, but there's no way that they're about to answer it and then the audience is voting on, like. They've done that in shows before. No, hell no. Not Family Feud. <laughs> yes, it did. Nah, you wrong. <laughs> no, I don't know if I'm that wrong, but nah, you wrong. I'm a little bit wrong. Go ahead, you though. Know King Charles, <laughs> the King, Queen Elizabeth's brother is. He had his coordination yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boy, they put the, they put the helmet on that nigga. I thought he was going to turn to dust. I said, God damn, he old. <laughs> For real. I, I don't understand. I don't understand it. I don't understand how, like, a country, no offense, but I don't understand how a country could still be naming somebody king. Yeah. some. It's very common, though. Couldn't be me, though. I slapped the shit out that nigga. <laughs> but I didn't know they still did this stuff with it. Hold on. They put the crown on him. Like, this is dick riding. God save the king. No, I'd have been in the crowd like, fuck that nigga. <laughs> he would have been no, escorted. No, I know they would have beat my ass, but I really don't care. No, nah, you get get beat up by them dudes with the tall hats. You think they can throw hands? Hell yeah, bro. For real? Yeah, I seen one. You think of, they can shoot or do you think they can throw hands? I think they got, they got the knives on the end of their gun. Yeah, I'm not losing to them, though. In the fist fight? Nah, I would punch them first, though. Since <laughs> you understand that. I, I, some of them be, uh, I hate when people do go and, like, mess with them, though. It kind of, like, a cringe uh, prank. You know when they get in the front of their face and they're like, bah, saying random shit in yeah, their face? That's why I seen. I seen one of them snap back, like, while somebody was like, ah, it's like, are you fucking kidding me? I'm protecting the king. And then he went back yeah. right there. Right there mm. <laughs> that fucking hat, and I be wearing this shit. Like that. So I hate them. Is that like the equivalent of like a chain snatching? If you got one of their hats and you start wearing it on camera, that's nah, crazy. Come get your shit back, cuz. Hey, on Instagram Live in the hood with that bitch on. <laughs> now, them niggas look like they was in drumline with that shit on. <laughs> <laughs> no, I saw this Instagram post is crazy. I'm not even gonna say the dude name who said it. I'm mm-hmm. sure it's already viral. So he said basically it's a picture of him and his girlfriend, and he said, I love you, but I can't stop cheating. But that don't mean I love you any less. Please forgive me because I have forgiven myself. You are not a fool. It's me. I'm sorry. 
Because I know if you ever did me like I did you, it would be long over by now. <laughs> Unfair. Broken heart emoji. Thank you for giving us our 15th last chance. I love you. <laughs> I've never posted nothing about my personal life. These people don't know me like you do. <laughs> why is key? Why is your <laughs> why is that your reaction? Because he he he's speaking some truth. <laughs> <laughs> Hypothetical. <laughs> That's not how it works. Key. <laughs> you can't just throw a word after you make a statement like that. You can't say hypothetical after either. Nah, fifteen is crazy, bro. You gotta. I, I feel like if if you if you do something wrong to a girl, like you mm-hmm. cheat on a girl, like once, even once or twice, yeah. you, as a as a logical person, you have to re- like think like, why are you taking me back? Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, you shouldn't want the person back. <laughs> why? You cheated for a reason. Yeah. Y'all probably shouldn't be together. Yeah. The other is like, why is this person taking you back? Maybe she loves him. Hey, stupid. <laughs> Yo, how, many chances stupid. Do, how many chances do you think a guy should have, Key? As many as he need. But, <laughs> but, hold on, hold on. Hell no. If he, if, if he broke, he shouldn't get a chance. But if he's a successful man, he should get as many as he wants. See, that's what, see, <laughs> see, that's what, <laughs> so I, that, that, that's, that shit toxic as hell. That's so fucking toxic. <laughs> but that's fucked up that some people think like that for real. I'm the key joking. <laughs> I think, but, <laughs> but somebody like Josh, you know, so it was a rumor that before the Bengals game that the Bills lost last year, mm-hmm. the day before, um, Josh Allen's girlfriend found out that he was she he was cheating on her, and everybody's associating associating that to the bad game that he had versus the Bengals, and it's just like. Some dude was just like, you know how all all these celebrities with money, they all cheat on their girlfriends. Mm-hmm. And just like, that's a crazy, like, stereotype. Yeah, I think because some of them think it is true because of the access you get when you get more money. But I've seen niggas that don't own a car or a house have three women. <laughs> that's what they like. I feel like a lot of women like broke dudes. Because there's a lot of broke dudes that get more I mean, chances than... But there are more broke that. dudes than rich dudes. Also. <laughs> <laughs> so the numbers kind of... <laughs> there's a lot of broke niggas. Yeah, there's a lot of there's broke, a lot of broke niggas. Yeah. <laughs> You got to think. There's a lot of broke So niggas. there's the averages. Yeah. A girl's more likely to be with somebody making 50K a year than somebody that's making some people like Some people, men and women, some people like being in manipulative... Uh, relationships Isn't that part of Manipulation though No I'm saying <laughs> They want their partner broke Oh So okay. they can pay for everything And control So it's like If a woman has a guy That's broke You have no car No house Now I control your whole life You can't go anywhere Without my car Yeah I think vice versa too Yeah same yeah. I mean same yeah. thing You see like these These rich Millionaires, yeah. and then they'll have like a fucking twenty-three-year-old girl that like dropped out of high school, doing nothing. She's just a face and a body, mm-hmm. just easy to control. Like, oh, I can just buy you a bag after you caught me in bed with like five women because it's yeah. just like P- people choose uh, what to accept and what not to. Yeah, that's at the true. end of the day, it's their lives too. They lives, <laughs> like you can't judge them. They judging you though. <laughs> no, we mean. judging. <laughs> no, I'm judging. I'll judge. The thing I don't think judging is bad. I think acting upon your judgment is is the bad part. No, right? Acting <laughs> upon like yeah. fucking posting it on the internet. Yeah, it's insane. <laughs> like if I walk, like if I thought that girl like, or as I thought that dude was like a, or that girl's a terrible person, right? Yeah. In my head, I can still think that. Or if I think she sleeps around, right? Just yeah. say like that. She's she sleeps with. 50 dudes. I, I can think that, but I don't have to act, never act upon it or right. even talk behind her back or anything like that. Or like it say anything. I <laughs> do all the time. Yeah. I just seen a nigga in a smart car and he was like 400 pounds. Yeah. I ain't say shit. <laughs> I definitely could have said something. <laughs> For real. <laughs> like you stuffing a piece of gum back in a rapper. <laughs> said, Nutty professor, is that you? <laughs> professor, come on. Oh, shit. Pat this stand up. Oh, yeah. We going to put it on Patreon. Actually. Yeah, we will. Yeah, we will. Yeah. yeah. So I did my I did two stand ups. If, if you're in the Milwaukee area, just follow us on IG so we can update you when we're going to I'm not doing stand up. Pat's doing stand up. Um so we can update you when we're going to some local shows and shit. Come like support that. Pat, bitch. Yeah. 
Let us know Inbo- inboxes if you if you want to show up. Oh yeah, inbox especially inbox you want us to sh- if you want to show up. Yeah, we're also thinking about. I said this in the last minute clip. We're also thinking about um, having live podcast shows in Milwaukee. We got a couple uh, bars that we're already talking to that we're gonna rent out. We're gonna have live podcasts along with open mic, and it's gonna kind of be this interaction thing, kind of like we do with the listener callers, with the podcast, with the open mics. So it'll be like that type of setting. If you're interested in that, let us know. The more people that's interested in it right away, the faster it'll get going. Like we had, you know, 100 people respond to us a day. We probably could get something together next week. Like it's all about y'all because we're not broke. <laughs> all, right. It all right, this is sound like the end of the podcast. This is uh, on to listener calls. Oh yeah, listener calls, <laughs> listener callers. You bitch ass nigga. <laughs> Take this ad, ho. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you put an ad there, Mike. There is gonna be an ad <laughs> Drop there. that bitch right there, uh. <laughs> ho ass nigga. Take that. <laughs> get, uh. Hey, throwing a nigga an ad like a dart, like nigga, huh? No, they're gonna get an ad. Yeah, legit. Okay. Because that's where I put the marker for it. Take tell right em. before listener callers. Tell them. What? Tell him take this ad. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> What's the deal, Brody? Shit, chill out, bro. What's the deal, my guy? No, you're on the show, bro. The show miss you. Oh, what's the deal, my baby? Yeah. Miss y'all too. Yeah. <laughs> you feel me? Ron Ron in the building. You feel me? Yeah. Man, where the fuck is the ball at? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I got you. God damn it. <laughs> What's the deal? I got a, I got a question for you. Would you rather have a hundred dollars or have dinner with Joe Biden? You ain't having no fucking dinner with Joe Biden, lame ass. What the fuck is that nigga gonna offer me? He ain't dear shit. <laughs> <laughs> So it's safe to say you're taking a hundred dollars. <laughs> oh my god! Taking a hundred dollars with gratitude. Give me that fucking bond. Talk about this dumbass nigga took the things away from me. Whoa, him. <laughs> Hell, ever since. Hey. All right, bro. All right, bro. Hey. 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 Hold on, hold on. Fuck the Twitch page up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout that shit out. Yeah, everybody fucking follow me on uh, Twitch. It's FK Jackson. And follow your boy on Instagram, Sharon 711 Jackson. Let's go. You feel me? Let's go. All right, buddy. Follow right, him bro. right now. How many, wait, right wait, how, how many followers are you I, trying to get? 
So man, you, I ain't going to hold you up, bro. I'm trying to get to the 10,000 mark, man. I'm only at uh, 4,600 4, right now, but I know I can bump that thing up, man. I need y'all help. Hey, if Bless we, y'all, baby. Hey, if we get, if we get to, if Sharon gets to 10K, we'll do a whole episode with Sharon. We'll do a 15-minute episode with Sharon if y'all get him to 10K. Ooh, hey, I'm what you talking about? What you want me to do? <laughs> what you want me to do? <laughs> <laughs> get my man to 10K, share his shit. Everything. Come on, y'all. Give me the take so I can come out there with the uh the goddamn greatest podcast in the goddamn game, man. Please, man. Please. Hey, we gotta Let's make that a tag. Hey, that's <laughs> yes, fine. Sir. Baby, greatest podcast in the world. Let's fucking go, bro. What's up? Yo, welcome to Crash Jimmy's podcast. Oh shoot, I'm coming to on here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's well, good, Brody? <laughs> hey, nothing much. Just getting ready for work. Why do your voice get deeper the second time? <laughs> Huh? <laughs> yeah, I should... this is good. yeah, I'll get deeper. I'm trying to sound like a man. Oh, mm, freaky ass. Nigga. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> Pause. Hey. Yeah. Um. So I got a question for you. Yeah. Why did you cheat? Okay. So the reason why I was nervous because I got I got out of a relationship of one year and a half. And she was like, oh, you don't communicate as much, so let's break up. And I was like, damn. I started crying on the phone. Same day we broke up, same day she got with some other dude. And in my new relationship, I was like, you know what? I want to protect myself. I want to protect my heart. So I'm going to cheat just in case. (laughs) If anything goes left. And yeah. Well, she did, but, you know. So she did end up cheating? Well, uh, I kind of, well, that's the thing. I would say she did because she was texting other dudes and talking to them on the phone. <laughs> and then she was like, oh, that's my friend. And I'm like, oh, yeah, that's a friend, all right. Why do you sound like Kermit the Frog? <laughs> <laughs> Patrick Mahomes? That's what I say. You sound like Patrick Mahomes. Man, I got my heart broken. Y'all make it fun of me. Come on, bro. <laughs> wait, wait. So did the second girl cheat? Oh, no, no, no. He was loyal to me. So you cheated on her. But then she caught me. Oh, she caught you. How'd, yeah. she, how'd she catch you? <laughs> okay, so funny story. Um, How's it I posted funny? on my you Instagram cheated. where my uh, friends only, you know, and shit. You know, the green scene? Wait, like, for close, close friends and shit? Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Except but I accidentally only. put it on public. Oh, that you was with her? That was with multiple girls. Text another girl, and so, she's like, wait, "Oh, you, that's wait, it. Wait, We're wait, done." Wait. We're... What did you put on your close friends? <laughs> I put, "Hey, I don't need a hoe. I got four. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> ass. <laughs> that's a dumbest. Like, nigga, how is that? What? Why is that postable? <laughs> what are you getting out of that? <laughs> like, what was your goal? <laughs> Oh Did you think God. a girl was going to be like, four? I want to be no, number five. It was, it was his close friends. So I'm, probably mostly dudes. It was oh, close friends, So yeah. you're just showing off of your friends? Yeah, but I accidentally put it in public. <laughs> this is like a stupid, <laughs> bro. <laughs> What's your IQ? Um, last time I did it was 160. <laughs> I feel like anybody that takes an IQ test has a low IQ. They're just like, <laughs> man, I, got, I need some validation. <laughs> Yo. yo 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 what's up Yo welcome to Crash Nummy's Podcast Hey good to be here <laughs> So I got a question for you Uh huh Why did you cheat Who You why you cheat <laughs> <laughs> He's still denying the shit <laughs> you know, Yeah I don't know you don't know. We got, we got to get to the bottom of this. There's a reason why you cheated. I think it was just a, a moment thing. A moment? What happened? What was the moment like? Yeah. No, uh, <laughs> at an office party, you know, we were just uh, having a bit of fun. And, uh, yeah, we ended up uh, kind of taking an extra hotel room just to... Uh, Get to know each other a bit better. <laughs> no, no way you still lying to yourself like this. 
<laughs> so so how did your significant other find out? Uh, she didn't. She doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The rest of the, the rest of the company knew though. Good morning after. Nah. Yeah. We gotta tell on you. Was bro. <laughs> That was tough. No, we got to tell on you. Nah. <laughs> nah. No, you're an active cheater. <laughs> like, like, this nigga's still in the story. <laughs> I, we call them people like, who got the full story. This nigga. This and nigga, moved on. <laughs> this nigga's still in his story. Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about uh, ending it, though. <laughs> This nigga so toxic. Why are you gonna end it? Uh, I'm kind of tired of it. Other options. <laughs> you cold blooded, bro. Hey, you making every woman right now they cringing because they thinking, "Damn, I knew all men was like this." Yeah, you know the funny thing is, it was my first time too. <laughs> this nigga you fell in love with it. <laughs> <laughs> Before that, I was always like. Uh, I don't know how people do it. Yeah, turns out uh, it's not that difficult. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You don't, you don't feel bad or nothing? Uh, I'm thinking. Um, yeah. <laughs> like a bit, a bit at the start. So now it's like a month or two ago, so. <laughs> this nigga is so bad. Man. This shit, hey, bro, this shit is bad. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> you are damaged, my nigga. <laughs> it ain't no help, bro. Hey, I pray for every woman in your path. That sound like you. <laughs> no, that, that, that was the last time, though. <laughs> what? So that was the last time you ever gonna cheat? Yeah, first and last. Don't be lying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just gonna muster up some unspoken resilience? <laughs> <laughs> you need to have resilience this whole time. <laughs> Not just gonna magically appear? Nah. I'm, or is it because you hopeful. tried it and you don't, you said what? That I'm hopeful. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, you, know, you, have to be, you have to be optimistic. <laughs> all right, bro. All right, bro. All right, appreciate you coming on, bro. All right, all right, all right. All right. Peace. Yo. <laughs> Yo. You see the rumors that Usher and Chris Brown were fighting? Yeah. I, that, I don't believe it. No, I don't. I believe, believe it might have been a disagreement, but I feel like if that one part was Chris Brown and Usher, obviously there's going to be hella women there. And <laughs> so I would think someone would be freaking recording. It's not part of like. Yeah. A real entourage. I don't. I don't believe, especially now. I don't believe anything if it wasn't yeah. on camera. I'm sorry. They talking like, about I did a triple backflip, <laughs> nigga. Where the footage at? <laughs> they, they still did. They show the footage of Wilt getting the hundred points or just the picture? Well, no footage. <laughs> I right, get back then. No, you might miss a couple things. Hell no. But a seven foot black man hitting a hundred points and ain't no footage of the game. <laughs> Sound false to me, nigga. <laughs> but no, nah, like I feel like um, it's tough. It's tough with like any of those situations because you actually don't know. It's yeah. Like somebody went back and looked at like our Tory and Meg <clears throat> debate, and I was like super proud mm -hmm. of our debate because we never took a side. Yeah. Even at times during that thing from like the internet era, it looked like fucking Tory was not guilty. Yeah. By a lot. By a lot. And it was just like we still never took sides. It's like you never know what's gonna come out. And then when the trial came out, it was. Just like, oh, this nigga is guilty. Yeah, like, <laughs> especially for like a sensitive uh, case like that. Now Tory is actually coming out with a, some evidence that while there might have been some foul play in the the court trying to get his case appealed and stuff like that. Yeah, I don't know if that's gonna work, but hey, well, yeah, but <laughs> yeah, but even then, like you obviously going back to Chris Brown's situation, you just can't believe anything, especially if it's not on camera these days. Mm -hmm. And they perform together today, I think. Yeah, I think uh, Usher was having his uh, Lovers and Friends Festival yeah. and when he was still on the bill. And it was like, anytime you see people throw, anytime like stories like this, like get thrown around and shit like that, then people get to add on to yeah. the stuff as long as one part is true.
right? If one part is true and people can find that first part, then you got, like, you just get these wave of people that agree. So you start off with a rumor. Everybody, like, you know, you got those people that believe anything. They dumb as fuck. Yeah. Um, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> dumb as fuck. I hate niggas that believe anything, bro. <laughs> you ever seen niggas share, like, a, a, like, a sports post on Facebook? And they'd be like, uh, Kevin Durant and LeBron James don't like each other anymore because Kevin Durant was sleeping with Savannah James. And then you see one of your friends share it and be like, man, this is crazy. <laughs> then you looked at who made it, and it says... Cock source. E- yeah, ESPN. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. dot <laughs> niggas believe anything. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, you can't believe everything. Mm-hmm. But then, going back to that situation... If you get another wave, like, okay, oh, shit, they was arguing. Now you get the other niggas be like, well, the arrest got to be true. It's yeah. like, what do you I, think the lie can't, the lie stems, every lie stems from something. True. Yeah, yeah, there's definitely yeah. an argument. But yeah. definitely, I don't, I don't know, throwing hands is crazy. When they say, oh, his nose busted, then they see him on tour. I think it's too, like, then his son did post on um, the internet with, like, his dad. It was, like, an anime character. Yeah. With all, <laughs> so. That's true. <laughs> and so, then quickly deleted it. Yeah. That 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 that's got to be terrible as a parent. Like, if you're a celebrity, like obviously one day I think you got a chance to be celebrities, bro. And if we have kids, like I have a son already, but mm-hmm. if you have kids, you got to worry about what they post on their story and shit like that. <laughs> like imagine that. Because kids would say say anything. They got no like filters. Anything, <laughs> anything. But you know what I hate <laughs> what? is when I'm eavesdropping and I hear two niggas giving each other advice. And I know that shit ain't going to work out for neither one of them. <laughs> like, you ever seen, like, two niggas talking about life? And them niggas just be way off, like, yeah, bro. Go ahead and get that car note. It's only going to be, like, $750. This is what I did. I took that $750 car note. I took that. Then I Ubered with the same car, bro. You make the money right back. <laughs> <laughs> These niggas is working ass backwards. <laughs> you niggas going to share a box real soon. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's always it's always funny hearing that when, especially you hear people giving advice. I, it's always funny have people give advice sometimes and they don't take their own advice. Like they'll tell you stuff to do in life and like, bro, you should be getting up at five o'clock in the morning and getting workout in, and, and this person sleeps <laughs> in and shit. It's like, it's like, hey, bro, listen. If you ever have somebody that you working out with, you be an accountable person and make sure you always show up to the workout with them. Then they called him the next day at noon, like, hey, bro, where you at? I thought you said we was working out. Nigga, not me, nigga. <laughs> you, nigga. You need to be on your P's and Q's, nigga. I'm good where I'm at, nigga. I ain't say I wanted to be better, nigga. You did. <laughs> Telling you how do you get better, nigga. Pat got so angry this uh, past weekend. Uh, somebody suggested <laughs> somebody suggested a shirt size for him. <laughs> that, was, <laughs> that was bigger than <laughs> that. Bro, this fat ass nigga told me I can't wear it. Nah, I can't even say yeah, that. Yeah, I know. I know. You gotta just, you delete that out. Yeah. You got a kid. I'm no, you're good. You're good. Huh? You're good. You could have kept saying it. I was, it wasn't going to be like anything. You don't. They won't know Tim. Oh, yeah. But he will. <laughs> No, nah, if you listen to this specific part, yeah, nah, yeah, I ain't doing that. Okay, <laughs> I just uh, I might need something from that nigga one day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but yeah, but yeah, I hate niggas like that. Yeah. Don't give me advice. I like the the Kanye saying, "I don't take advice from people less successful than me." Like, <laughs> What the fuck is you giving me advice for? Like, <laughs> I don't even get up, advice from somebody. Some people fuck don't, no. Sometimes people don't have the means to to make their their dreams come true or their, their ideas come true. No, nah, you go, hey, bro, I love y'all show. So but, take, what, take, but what y'all should start doing is getting more angles on y'all podcast so more people can see your podcast. Like, nigga, you had three stepdads this month. Nigga, don't talk to me about <laughs> seeing shit, nigga. <laughs> Control your moms, nigga. <laughs> what the fuck is you talking about? <laughs> but sometimes I, I think about it this way. I consult sometimes for like million dollar companies, multi million dollar companies. The, they make. I don't have ten million dollars. I don't have a million dollars. No, no, no. no. But they're I get taking that. advice from me. But your profession, yeah, is to give that advice. Is to give that advice. That's what they're specifically coming from to you for. <laughs> uh-huh. And they've made money off of that before. Mm. I ain't take no money from a nigga telling me, "Hey, bro, y'all know what y'all should do." <laughs> 
for the hundredth episode. <laughs> Usher had girls twerking in the video. It's like nigga, when the last seven digits you got? You're talking, <laughs> telling me I should have you a nigga ask you for more than what he can. He can't even get the standard of that. It's like nigga, if it was me. Do people still write down? I like, got Casamigos for everybody. Like you, nigga, what? <laughs> When you ask it for a girl's number, do people still like write it down on hell or nah. on a piece of paper? You know these, the, all these like everybody got their different way of communicating. Yeah, you never know if it's like is that your way of communicating or are you trying to get rid of me? Like what did she what did she say? I can't give you my number. I'll give you my Snapchat. I would never. I don't. I'm not. Asking That's a for, crazy thing to ask for. I'm not asking for a girl's number. Like if I see you on my um for you page, I follow you. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it pass like what the fuck? Yeah. Like, who's asking? I don't think. I don't. I don't think it's right for to ask for a number. Like, is the connection there or not? <laughs> fuck, fuck is anybody asking for? Why is she asking for your number? And why are you asking for her number? How else would they get each other's number? Nigga, vibe, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta bring you back to the same spot. Meant to be one, meant to be, nigga. What if you ain't trying to vibe though? What if you just trying to? Man, here you go with this shit. <laughs> <dude>. <laughs> No, I feel like everybody should have a sign, though, for yeah. sure. I feel like that's fair in the game. Like, everybody, like, you have to state, like, it's a rule, it's a law that you have to state, like, what are your intentions, at least for the dynamic of it. Like, mm-hmm. are you looking for a relationship or are you trying to hook up? I feel like that will save a lot. Of- <laughs> hook up. <laughs> <laughs> it was just Keith's birthday, too. That man is finally 21. Yeah. 21. He was supposed to meet us at this little uh, after party spot, and what happened to you? <laughs> <laughs> you said you got what dude hit you from the side? <laughs> it was a Hispanic Latino male <laughs> on Cinco de Mayo. I was parked, and he just rammed into me, and I'm like, "Damn, these." <laughs> nah, hey, Keith said he got hit by a car, and ten niggas hopped out the car. I see. <laughs> With Casamigo bottles. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Sombreros. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> niggas will celebrate hard as hell. <laughs> How the fuck all these niggas fitting this for focus, nigga? You know, yeah. I heard that, like, uh, Cinco de Mayo is an American thing. Like, in Mexico, they don't celebrate Cinco de Mayo. I believe it. I believe it, bro. A lot of my friends that are Mexican um, said that that's just an excuse to get drunk because that, like, America, that's what it's surrounded by. Bro, everything is an excuse. Look at my racial quota. Everything is an excuse for racist white people to celebrate when they want to celebrate. Yeah. Like, what do you mean? Me, huh? What do you mean? Or just like to calm stuff down. Like, you don't think Black History Month is just like to calm black people down? <laughs> I think that's what it's like. It is a the, calm holiday, though. White saying. people sat in a group and they was like, bro, sometimes we be wild as fuck. Hell yeah. Sometimes we be killing too many of these niggas. Hell yeah. How can we make sure they never really catch on? Let's always have a debriefing period. Let's call it Black History Month. <laughs> hey, that's right. Hey. That's lit. That's, that's, that's right. Hey, right? <laughs> that's right. Dude, niggas are they dumb. calm us down. <laughs> Why are you oh, more hell calm? No, we about to march. What? Out. what? The niggas be like, mm, February, nigga. <laughs> oh, shit. We got our own month. Yay. George Washington Carver, nigga. If I hear one more nigga tell me he invented the peanut. I was going to say he made peanut butter. Where's the bitches? No, I'm <laughs> no I'm but no, nah, but it's just like. Is I, there a black holiday that people like party? Juneteenth? It's kind of like a. I feel like that's it, a holiday, but I feel like nobody really celebrates it. No, they, no, they definitely do. A lot. I've never seen anybody. There's festivals and every, Milwaukee you, had a. I'm talking country. about like celebrating a sense where. St. Patty's Day in terms of drinking. Nah, drink. you know black people ain't got no drink, ain't shit to celebrate. And I don't a lot of black people <laughs> <laughs> we celebrate for a lot of people do. I don't I don't let many black people that like beer either. Yeah, yeah I don't uh, nah. that's See, nasty. You don't like beer, right? Yeah. It's not for us. <laughs> so it's like it, it would be hard to celebrate that way because you know you can down like ten cans of beer and still be somewhat all right. <laughs> you down 10 like Casamigo drinks Or a uh, Ciroc Or some E&J may- Yeah it's right <laughs> <laughs> Niggas drinking brandy <laughs> These niggas is drunk I saw I saw a post uh, It was um, A sign at a club That they hold up It said 20 dudes Two bottles 
Nah, that's crazy. <laughs> that's a, what they doing with them? No, I'm just saying because they got it's, they're pretty much making fun. There's 20 dudes in the booth, but y'all only bought two bottles. What's wrong with that? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Niggas be wanting niggas to go out and just spend money. It's kind of like a one thing. I, it was like one that um, it was a video. It was a uh, I think Kai Sinat and Speed were at a club or something. No, twenty but twenty dudes, two bottles is kind of. Nah, crazy. Everybody <laughs> gotta put it. Gotta, gotta, twenty gotta, dudes gotta, in the every... booth is kind of crazy. Twenty dudes in the booth is crazy. <laughs> Depends how big the booth is. Like but... God damn, I didn't know we was at um. If it fits Oscar like... Mayer, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> they got a sausage factory in this bitch. What Everybody should be. But able the to thing put about it, in you know the bottles, Polish? the bottles at the clubs are expensive as fuck too. It's like five, especially the bigger clubs. It can be like five hundred bottle dollars for a bottle. People, but twenty. But listen. Five of y'all, that's $100. Okay, piece. realistically, do you think if you get 20 four people, bottles. How many shots do you think is in a bottle? I don't care. It should be four bottles. You should at least be able to put $100. Yeah. And it's 20 of y'all. 20. <laughs> 20 <laughs> times 100. <laughs> All right, okay. So they were right then? Hell yeah. <laughs> but <it's, laughs> I just thought about it. Because I'm thinking about our groups, but we begin three but bottles there's 20 and there's seven there's, of us. There's 20 dudes. It has to pre, probably be a couple girls in there. If it's just all 20 dudes... That'd make it even worse. Well, it depends what type of party it is. Two bottles? <laughs> no, that's crazy. No, that is crazy. I'd be mad as hell if I was a club owner. <laughs> two bottles is kind of crazy for 20 people, I guess. I mean, I'll block everything off. If you pay $2 for... I'll make sure I block everything off to where y'all ain't got no traffic coming That's why sometimes I get hate getting invited to parties when, like, uh, you go... <laughs> it's just a whole bunch of random dudes in the booth. And they're all just sharing the bottle. And they all sharing the bottle and they just staring at the I general population with the hookah. <laughs> and then they looking in your section. Yeah. Like, nigga, look at them. Nigga, why are you looking over here? I've seen I've seen once, I've seen uh like six dudes in the booth. Or like yeah, about six or seven order one bottle and then they each took turns taking pictures like the bottle and shit. I think it was like a bottle of uh uh, Don Julio is that the one that yeah. yeah they were holding it like this now swinging I around threw, I threw my drink on them nigga. <laughs> I can't be, that's too broke <laughs> sizzle out a little bit <laughs> nah doing that it's just like just doing like cringe worthy things it's just like bruh yeah like I, like how can you sit there and do that in public like we were uh, in the mall going to our uh, our boy's store mm-hmm. and I seen a little girl doing a TikTok in the mall and I'm just like bruh that's where they get made, though. If I find your TikTok and you ain't got over 10K. <laughs> like, How else do they get 10K? You gotta- nah. You got to start off small. It's like the OnlyFans thing. You can't just jump right on that bitch butt-ass naked talking about this. <laughs> and then you only made $500 in a month, and now somebody got your shit. You got to ease into it. That's decent money. $500 in a month? If you're not doing it full-time. To show you yeah, butt-naked? Off, side, off a side job, yeah, that's pretty dope. I I, I would do it. We That's you. <laughs> $500? All right. You do only fast for $500? Did, no, no. No, no. Like, as a side job, like, to make on top of the income that I have, I would do it. Just, like, one picture a month? Yeah, I'd be like this. Butt ass naked? Ass naked. <laughs> Toes. <laughs> Nails. Love being full naked in the picture is kind of crazy. No, that's crazy. <laughs> Where you're full length I, naked picture? What I mean, <laughs> like, what? <laughs> so, what I, think, what, what I think a lot of people don't realize is, like, they not. So, you thinking of, like, the concept of, like, Oh, like, damn, 500 people saw this. Like, let's say you get a dollar for each view or whatever on this made-up site. Mm-hmm. You get 500 views, you're like, damn, 500 people saw this. No, nigga. <laughs> 500 people pay for it, my nigga. A lot more have it, and there's some freaky-ass niggas that got it, too. Yeah, you ain't think about that. I ain't sharing the content for them. That's what you say, but now you in a club, and you doing your little hokey-poke dance, <laughs> and then it'd be like, and then all you hear in the background is like, damn, I ain't never think I'd be this close. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I just turn around like like Denzel Washington. <laughs> you can't what? do shit to him. You gonna do all that? You trying to choke him out? He talking about ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you choking I, somebody out in their mom, bro? Hey, that's a good. That's a good. Uh, Thing to get out of the head like though. No, that's crazy. It's like even if you're getting put in the full Nelson, getting put getting put in a full Nelson 2023. It's like so unmanly, bro. <laughs> that's scary. That's it's scary. just so like that means somebody had to dominate you, and then at some point you have to like stop like resisting for them to get a whole full Nelson in. Bro, so sometimes at the gym I box I box spar with girls too, right? So I was sparring and then the girl puts me in a, a headlock. 
I've never felt so like unmanly before because you know when you kind of like tangle up a little bit yeah. and you get put in a headlock. Yeah, a full headlock. I was like, wow, this shit is crazy. Like you ever re- like <laughs> have you ever wrestled a girl? Yeah, that's yeah. like the hardest people to like get away from. It's like trying to open a bag of chips. Like you know I'm strong enough to open it, but if I open this bitch too hard, the whole thing gonna break. <laughs> so you're like, ah, you trying to push off with like reasonable strength. Yeah, but if you use too much, you like kill her. Yeah. And you're like, God damn. Huh? I had to wrestle a girl. In um in high school wrestling too, nah, that's crazy. You know, that's always my biggest fear. Yeah, I had to. My friend was joking around, and you know at the lower weight classes, he was like one twenty five or something like that, mm-hmm. or like one sixteen. You know, the the strength gets a little closer and closer sometimes yeah, when mean, you get the lower weight. You really don't really like distinguish yourself from girls until you're like in middle school. Yeah, that's when it really happens. But anything under like fifth grade, like it could be a girl that's stronger. <laughs> yeah. than you. you don't know, like she at home learning shit. Cause her dad teaching her, <laughs> and your dad ain't been back. <laughs> Where is this nigga? But, man? but yeah, he lost. He lost the. Uh, he lost to her, and I was like, Nah, I can't lose. And I, that, the toxic masculinity came out that at that time. Nah, he definitely Quick can't work. lose. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he choking her out? <laughs> Trying to show her who dominant. <laughs> nah, I seen one thing I can't stand is. Uh, I, I just don't trust anybody with a V-neck. I don't care what the fuck you got. I don't care what you selling me. You could be trying to hand me $5,000. You got a V-neck on, I'm turning that shit down. Yeah. I don't trust you. <laughs> Why is there a V on your shirt? <laughs> There's so many other shirts. You used to wear V-necks? Yes, bro. Purposefully. Uh, this, it's not in, there's some fashion stuff that you might want to wear a V-neck. Fuck no. I think it depends on your body type. Fuck no. Like, I can't wear a V-neck. It looked way too crazy on me. Fuck no. No, no. no. I, used to, I was a V-neck king. No V-necks. I was a V-neck king Unless, with that V-necks. No, nah, V-necks. During that Ed Hardy 8 uh, era, I had my, my, my V came down to my fucking sternum. Man, V-neck. <laughs> Bro, we used to try to wear V-neck. Like, on purpose. V-necks and wave caps. And, and baseball quarter <laughs> sleeves. V-necks, wave caps, the full fitteds. <laughs> y'all had a wild era. <laughs> no, y'all niggas got a wild era. Nah, this, y'all niggas stealing cars. <laughs> <laughs> this era fucking crazy. Uh, you ever uh, you ever see somebody getting like made fun of about for their opinion or getting made fun, yeah made fun of of opinion they have? Yeah, yeah. That you totally agree with? Yeah. <laughs> That's like a, it's All always the, the worst. I'm like, damn, they don't really like that. Yeah, I actually like that. <laughs> Sometimes it changed my mind because yeah. I don't know the response to yeah. some shit. I'd be like, damn, oh shit, y'all right. Yeah, you start telling you the reason. I'm glad I never said that in public, but I don't understand how people can't. I get sometimes like the tide may shift and something that you tweet or put out there, yeah. but I don't understand like so then why delete it mm-hmm. if you knew you knew it was a controversial topic, but by you deleting it, you just told me that you didn't know it was a controversial topic and you thought that shit was right. Yeah. So you just heard somebody else say it and then you hurry up and put it out there. That's what's wrong with people. Yeah. Don't look shit up no more. <laughs> Niggas do not look up anything, no, bro. It's about the first, the, whatever the first information, piece of information they see on it. <laughs> that's why America fucked up, bro. <laughs> yeah. There's so many people that got that first bit of information on something, and that's been their opinion since then. Or just read the headline. Yeah, like, okay, they grew up in a church and just be like, oh, pro-life, abort. There's no, under no circumstances should abortion be legal, right? Mm-hmm. And they grow up on that, and they just be like, that's the only way. And then they only not apply it to their situation, which is okay. Mm-hmm. It's you. But yeah. you apply it to everybody? Yeah. <laughs> like, no. Okay, you shouldn't have an abortion. Okay, that's on you. That's what you want to do. But to, like, go to a girl in Texas and you live in fucking North Dakota and you, like, <laughs> judging her is crazy, <laughs> bro. you like, fuck you. Then them people that stand outside the abortion claims are crazy, No, that's bro. crazy. That's a crazy thing to want to, like, force your opinion on somebody in that way. Especially at that at that. That's always weird to me because p- women are going going there in like their most like vulnerable state. I mean, I don't I don't know anything more because <laughs> the uh, like abortion. There's the, that's the bad thing about abortion yeah. clinics. If you ever seen an abortion clinic, if you Google one, there's nothing else. Yeah, like it's not like going into like if somebody you got, got unless you go to like a plant bear plant par- parenthood. Yeah, 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 yeah. Unless you go there, but some abortion clinics are like just they're no. That's why the person's in front of them. Yeah. No, they be standing outside Planned Parenthood now, too. Yeah, they do. Oh, okay. Do. Yeah. But I'm just saying the ones that aren't Planned Parenthood yeah. is just crazy. Even the ones that are, because a lot of women go there for diff- most of the times it's abortions. Yeah, that's crazy. And obviously, like, the free uh, birth controls and stuff like that they offer. W- what I'm saying is, like, it's, it's crazy to put them in a position to not have, like, some... 
big base. I like if somebody walks into the hospital, right? Mm-hmm. And let's say they walked in the hospital because drug addiction is kicking their ass, right? You don't know what's going on because they right next to somebody that got a fucking broken leg. Yeah. Right. But when somebody walking into a clinic like that, like I like you just said, the majority or like I said, it's only that. It's like you putting them in the most vulnerable spot ever. Like who else has to do that in the whole fucking world? Yeah, man? true. <laughs> but women. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. We ain't got to do shit, bro. Nobody's like it's like somebody like standing outside like a, a Weight Watchers clinic or something. <laughs> we ain't got to do shit. Like, yeah. be like, it'd be like, no, nah, we don't want you to lose weight. You should be yourself and shit like that. Like, don't it, you know, it'd be kind of funny if that was the case, though. Like we need women don't even. Men don't, don't even you ain't got to know men have kids, bro. No, nah. <laughs> you don't even know if a guy like at some point if you see a girl all the time if she's pregnant for nine months you're gonna know like oh you have a kid on the way. Mm-hmm. I know you're having a kid. Yeah. So now you can't even hide the fact that I at some point I saw you pregnant and you got to explain to all those people too. Mm-hmm. Whereas a man you just like or a Barbary shirt. <laughs> do people own those shirts that don't have kids? They don't never went to a baby no, shop. You yeah, I do. <laughs> you do? You got a I, got, shirt? I got two of them. I feel like, oh, kids? No. Hell no. <laughs> hell no. Are you, you talking about the baby shop Burberry shirts? Oh, uh, they like the little button up? Yeah. Oh, no, hell no. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about Burberry in, Jer- in if, general. If you knew you had a kid right now, what would you do? Like, what would I wear? No. <laughs> no. If you if you had a three year old in another state, let's say you had a three year old in Texas from a flame that you had three years ago, mm. what's it, what's your next move? DNA test. Okay, you find out it's yours. Fuck him. <laughs> he lived three years without me. He can go fifteen more. <laughs> no, that's crazy. <laughs> no, I take care of my kid. So what you doing? A, I, I want the real scenario. Where are you going? Where am I going? Like, so you got the DNA test. Let's say you did it through the mail. You found out it is. So you're going to visit him, right? Mm-hmm. What's the next move? I'll probably bring him on with me. You taking him from his <laughs> mom? Hell yeah. <laughs> you had him for three years and nine months. I ain't, I ain't do shit. <laughs> okay, you got him. Let's No, let's make him older. What if he ate and he don't fuck with you? Like, I can't do shit about it. So you still trying every day? No. Why would I do that? <laughs> you don't fuck with me. He hate me. I'm sorry. I'll send him some money. <laughs> I'll make sure he financially taken care of, but I can't. If, if you had an eight-year-old that hated you. Hated me? Yeah. And you just found out he's your son. What you doing? You find out the reason he hates me. I just find out he's my son? Yeah. Oh, I just probably blame the mom. <laughs> no, I, I would have thought like, why would, else would he hate me? If oh, he right. If you wasn't around, yeah, like, it's not like you didn't want to. Yeah, be. so something bad was said about me. So you just keep every time you get him along, like, yeah, your mom ain't who she <laughs> thinks she is, little nigga. You just gotta start. Just gotta have a whole big list and try to revert it back. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, too I'm toxic. gonna adopt an eight year old to beat that nigga ass. <laughs> why you gotta? You could just pay one. You don't adopt an eight year old to be nah, your I dad. Got, you gotta be a dad. It gotta come from the heart. <laughs> like, that's my dad, nigga. I <laughs> you anyway, that's been episode one hundred and one of Crash Dummies podcast. Um, make sure you subscribe to Patreon to get exclusive content. Patreon listeners, remember there's gonna be a new episode every two weeks. So just keep that in mind. Uh, anything else, Pat? Nah, fuck y'all. I already know what y'all saying. They call me. Who got on the same pants? These ain't the same pants. Yeah, they're not the same pants. So <laughs> they are similar colors, that's all. Just coincidence, man. Just like it's a coincidence, uh, your uncle and your mom have sex. Oh my gosh. All right, y'all. Uh, Peace. I don't know if that's your real uncle. <laughs>